what's up world so today i'm gonna be reviewing a beer that i finally purchased after seeing it for months and months at the grocery store and it just caught my eye it just caught my attention um, as you can see i've got it right here but today we're gonna try it live on camera to see if it's any good now i do want to say that i did a lot of uh, research about it on google a lot of the reviews were terrible. There was a pretty good review on YouTube. I'll link that below, but they did explain the process of how they made the beer, you know, how it tastes like uh, Jim Beam, you know, the bourbon, how they get the bourbon flavor. It's pretty fascinating. Check that video out after you watch mine, of course. And also I wanna say I'd normally, I didn't used to like beer. Um, I used to hate it. But as I got older, I think as you get older, your taste, you know, your taste buds change you just like different stuff. So now I think I'm more into beer, um, but I'm not gonna sit there and like, you know, pound beers back like that. I, just, I still prefer my tequila. I love tequila, but all right. So, um, it reminds me, what's that Jamaican beer? Oh, it reminds me of the, uh, the bottle like Red Stripe comes in. I've never had that, which I probably need to try that too, but it's just, a, I don't know why they put it in this uh, type of bottle. So right here on the front, it says aged on real barrel staves. It's got your Budweiser logo right up front. All right, so this beer, this is 6.2% alcohol. So can't imagine you'd have too many of these, but uh, all right, let's do it. All right, so we finally got it open. Now let's do the sniff test. Wow, so honestly, it just smells like Budweiser. It just smells like a regular beer. I don't get any, uh, any hint of bourbon in here. What we're gonna do is I've got a glass. I'm gonna pour it in the glass so you can see what color it is. Yeah, so it almost has, I guess it's like a copper color, like it says. I'm still not really getting any bourbon. Okay. After a while, you start to smell it. So let's give it a taste test. Man, that is really, really, really delicious. I do get kind of a, a nutty flavor to it. Um, I don't get any bourbon flavor though. I don't, I don't get any of that. It, it's weird though, because you don't taste it when you're drinking it, but like, you know how liquor will coat a glass and you can see it kind of on the glass. It's kind of like, how it feels in my mouth it just feels like it's coating my mouth and every time i breathe out the bourbon flavor comes out when you breathe out it's weird as that sounds but wow this is good this is really good um i like it i mean it definitely tastes like the other beer that i've recently fell in love with this beer very delicious very amazing um, it's probably one of my favorite beers ever. So for this to compare to that beer, that says a lot. If you're into light beer and you want to try something else, you want to venture out a little bit, get your toes wet, <laughs> try this. Uh, it's tasty. I, I think it's great. I thought that it was going to be completely nasty and just disgusting, but this is turning out to be really incredible. Um, it tastes pretty much just like one of my favorite beers so far that I've tried. So I would buy this again, and I think it's great. Until next time, cheers. Oh. <laughs>
Oh my goodness. Like imagine around the holidays, you get that spice flavor. Like it's just a certain type of flavor, nutmeg, or I'm not really sure what all it is that makes it taste like that, but you know, imagine that flavor. Uh, that's kind of what I thought tasting this when it was aged in the whiskey barrels. So in my head, I was kind of thinking that it was gonna taste kind of like this, but it didn't, it tasted nothing like, you know, that spice flavor. There, there was no spice flavor at all, in fact, nothing.